Hey guys, DigDat coming at you with another video. This time we're going to tackle a simple or more uh, broken down guide to rolling back DJI Go 4. Uh, this is my attempt to make it just as simple as possible. Uh, to roll back, you're going to need iTunes 12.3.1. The download link is in the comments. You're also going to need a program called Charles Proxy, uh, Get version 4. The link to download that's in the comments. Uh, so after you get them downloaded, go ahead and install iTunes. I've got both of the files on the desktop here. I'll go ahead and install iTunes. Um, this is a fresh Windows 10 installation. I've done nothing on it. I just downloaded the files in Chrome, and now I'm doing a fresh install, so I've done nothing else. So go ahead and uh, install iTunes. We don't want any updates going on, so if you get any prompts or anything about auto-updates within iTunes, um, go ahead and say no. Uh, don't open it up just yet. Hit finish there. We're going to go ahead and install Charles Proxy. Uh, after we install Charles, do not open it. Leave it closed. Hit next. Click that box. Next, next, next. Install. This one should go pretty fast. <clears throat> Hit finish. Okay, after that, we're going to go ahead and open iTunes. Do not have your iPad or your iPhone plugged in. Do not have it plugged in. I'll go ahead and hit agree. I'll go ahead and hit agree on this page. Now, if you get any prompts for updates, say do not update or do not download. Uh, don't let it do any auto updates. You can click that don't show a bo uh, box again if you want. Go ahead and click OK. Go into the iTunes store. And at this point, we need to check and see, do you have two-factor authentication enabled? Uh, if you do, you got to turn it off. It won't help this process. We can't do it. Uh, if you don't know what that is, go into your account at appleid.apple.com and see if it's, uh, if it's enabled. So <clears throat> I'll go ahead and load up their site here. We'll uh, do a quick login. If you scroll down just a little bit in the middle area, there will be a section specifically for the, the two-factor authentication. Um, if it says enabled, that means it's enabled. Um, and so there should be an option to disable. Uh, click that and just follow the steps. You'll set some security questions. Um, I'm not going to go through that here. So go back to iTunes, click the show menu bar, and then we're going to log into your account. Click show menu, go over to store, log in. Log in with your iTunes account. You need to make sure you get your password and your email address both correct here. After that's done, we're going to go back up to store and we're going to authorize the computer. Again, type in your email address and your password and click authorize. Once that's done, we're looking good. Hit OK. We can go ahead and open up the other app, Charles. I like to resize my windows so that they're side by side. I find that it, uh, it helps so you can kind of see both of them at the same time and easily navigate uh, back and forth and really just do whatever you need to. That way you're not switching back and forth. It just, it's a lot easier if you run into any problems and you can visualize exactly how the download is working. In my case, Windows Firewall prompted me if I wanted to allow Charles to access the internet. If you get any of these, go ahead and choose Allow Access. Uh, sometimes antivirus software will also give you a prompt. Uh, these are not bad applications. Uh, they're completely safe. Uh, so go ahead and uh, authorize all the access that you can. Go ahead and uh, finish shaping my windows here. OK, so don't do anything in Charles yet. Um, we're going to go into iTunes. We're going to search for DJI Go 4. You're going to find the Get Download button, uh, and we're going to start a download. And this is going to download the new version, which we don't want. Um, but once we start that download, we're actually going to cancel it. Um, really what we want to do here is we want to get the server to show up in the list over there on the left within Charles. So go ahead and find it. Hit Download. Uh, if you're prompted to log in, uh, go ahead and put in your email address and your password. Tick that box below for remember the password. Uh, that'll make the process a whole lot easier. So put in a correct password, hit get, and then you'll see in the top right corner up there within iTunes, the download will start. Now you want to cancel and delete that download. We don't want that. We don't want that. Uh, but what we do want to do is we want to, uh, after you get rid of that one, uh, and don't let it download too far, you don't use it too much bandwidth, Go over to Charles, and then you'll see this server. <clears throat> it's going to say p 10 buyitunesapplecom 
what you want to do is right click that specific item and then choose enable SSL proxy. So here's a little screenshot, right click, enable SSL proxy. Uh, if you're on a Mac, it might be like a control or a command click and you should get that screen. So now go back to iTunes, search for DJI Go again, download it again, and then cancel that download and delete it again. So here we go to DJI Go, type that in, it's gonna search again. It's very important that you start a fresh search each time. You don't wanna go back to one and try to re-download from an old search. Make sure you search again. Um, you'll actually then see over there in Charles, some new stuff is happening. Ignore that for a second. Uh, within iTunes, hit get or download. I see both of those buttons show up. I don't know why, um, but again, that'll start the download. Select it, cancel it, delete that. And then back in Charles, you're gonna see a new entry. Again, that same looking server with a P10 address. Um, and so below that, if you expand the folder, you're gonna see an item that says buy product. So hit the plus sign next to all of those and then get to that point. Right click and then choose breakpoints. Um, once that's done, you're good to go. So we're gonna go find the version that you wanna download. So go to my sheet that's in the comments. Find the version of the app that you want and then uh, right click on that and copy it or write this number down uh, you're going to put this number back in Charles to fold the download. So now we're going to go back to iTunes once more, and we're going to search for DJ Go again. Uh, this time, Charles is going to stop the download, and it's going to allow us to take that number that you just wrote down, and we're going to put it in there in its place of whatever this new version's number is, and it's going to force it into getting the old version. So when I hit download here, after I do another search, or hit get, uh, if you look over in Charles, this, uh, this breakpoint screen shows up. And so on the top, you wanna to click Edit Request tab. And then on the bottom, there's gonna be another tab titled XML Text. So there's Edit Request, there's XML Text. Now on the top here, there's this nine digit number. It's a string value. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna replace that number with the number that you just got from my sheet. And so whatever number you copied or you wrote down, you're gonna put in here. So basically you're gonna delete the number that's in there you're gonna paste in the new one, and then you're gonna hit the execute button on the bottom. It's gonna prompt you again, hit execute again, don't change anything. Now, if you get any more execute requests, go ahead and execute on those, but the download should start. Uh, and so um, everything worked great there. Uh, big uh, props to my, my squadron, what up guys? Um, if you look at that, uh, that download, the file size is going to be a lot bigger. The one that started before that I had you download and then cancel was 370 megs. This one's only 189 megs. And so it's definitely the older version. So we'll go ahead and do the download here. We'll let the download uh, finish up. I'm going to speed it up in the video here. And then once the download is finished, uh, sometimes Charles will prompt you again. Um, so if the download kind of sticks at 100%, uh, look at Charles. There are times where it'll uh, it'll do one last one on the end there. But otherwise, you can go into My Apps, and then you can view um, the version to confirm that it's correct. Um, so you can, at this point, close Charles. You're done with Charles. It was a good soldier. It did its job. Uh, but if you go back to iTunes, right-click on it under My Apps, DGI Go, and then you'll see that we've got the, the 4.0.8. So in this case, I downloaded the, the old version. Um, if you want, you can also go to the music folder on your computer. Uh, this works both in Finder and Mac OS, as well as uh, File Explorer and Windows. Open up that music folder, and then iTunes, iTunes Media, and then I think it's mobile applications there. You'll see there's a file. So that's the actual downloaded IPA file from iTunes. That's DGI Go, that's the old one. Uh, it is tied to your iTunes account, so if you go send it to, to buddies or whatever, I don't recommend that. Um, it's going to be tied to your email address and password, and if somebody puts it on their phone, it'll actually change that for their whole phone. So let's not do that. Keep it to yourself. Uh, you can download multiple versions if you want. It'll store them all there for you. Um, but once you get that version downloaded, now you want to plug in your iPad. Uh, so go ahead and hook that thing in with a USB cable. Uh, go ahead and open up Apps and then click install. Go ahead and hit apply on the bottom down there or sync if it shows up and then it should sync. Uh, this will take a, just a couple minutes. I went ahead and I sped it up for the video here, um, but otherwise it installs over, it copies over without any problems. Uh, and so once that's done syncing, if you want, you can um, go over your tablet 
uh, you'll get some different prompts for permissions and for the user license agreement. Uh, and so I recommend, you know, bump it over the tablet now. Let's go ahead and open up DJI Go 4. Again, if you get any of those prompts, just go ahead and click yes, accept those. That'll make sure that the app continues to work as it should. You can see here that they uh, they threw a whole bunch of them at you. So just hit allow, hit accept on all those on the, uh, the DJI Go 4 app terms of use. Hit accept that big blue button down there. Um, now, a lot of these older versions, they don't actually require the force sign-in. So if you're on a version lower than 4.1.3, uh, any version below that, it doesn't force the sign-in. Anything after, it will force a sign-in. This one's below it. Uh, but if you hit me on the bottom down there and you go into settings, you can see here I've got version 4.0.8. So that's exactly what we wanted. Uh, if you then go into the uh, flight screen or the camera screen for whatever your preferred aircraft is, I'll go ahead and just pick Mavic here. Um, you can see it just it's a brand new install. Uh, so you'll need to to go through some of these. Uh, I'll show you here what the version is. Uh, but otherwise, you know, it's going to reset all your settings. So you're going to need to go back through and repick, you know, Imperial if you like that. Pick your return to home height and all that good stuff. But uh, otherwise, you're all done. Um, so you did it. Uh, hopefully, that was pretty simple. Uh, for iPhone X users, um, install iTunes 12.6.3 if you can't sync with this version. I know that's been a problem for, for some people. So I'll put a link to that uh, download in the comments. And I'm pretty sure that you can uh, figure that out. It's not too bad to install that version. Just install it over the top of what you have there. Um, this this ain't going to work for everyone, but if it doesn't, go to dji.retroroms.com, you guys, or uh, .info. A lot of great info there, and especially for Mac users, uh, there's a couple tricks on there for you to, to do that. So thanks very much for watching, and um, thanks for, for playing the game, guys.